Hey guys, what's going on? Lachlan Ward here. Today we've got another race review for you guys. This one is a Formula Ford race. So this was round three in the 2019 championship, uh, race one at Eastern Creek. So this is the year I won the championship with Anglo Motorsport. So it was a pretty special year for me. And this is one of the best races, if not the best race of the year. So me, Coop Allen and Zach Bates were going at it. We had a couple other Juratex in the class, but we drove away, us three, and we, we went at it pretty hard. Massive thanks to Marcus George for sending me a message on Instagram to do a Formula Ford race. So, got a Formula Ford race. We've got the, the Lachlan Ward Racing hat on here covering up the lockdown lockdown hairdo, and we'll get into it. So here we go, we've got the race start here. So we got Sydney P3 at the moment out of five Duratec cars, and there was 13 cars in total, including the Ken cars this weekend. But this is sort of more like the XL starts, not like the Legend car starts. So, standing start, we're gonna sit here in P3, bring the revs up, the lights come on. As soon as the lights go out and we're away. There we go, right, so a really good start for myself. Uh, we had the starts down pat this weekend. It was really good from uh, from the team standpoint. They really gave me a lot of tips on how to start the car, but we're going to get up close. For some reason, we back off a little bit here. If I was doing it again and I was a bit more aware, I probably would have kept my foot into it and got a good run and tried to get him into turn two coming up here. We're going to go late under brakes. There we go, out around the outside and just pull back because we're not going to make a move around the outside of turn two at Eastern Creek. So 10 lap brakes this one, lots of time to make some moves. It's, it's a pretty long track, so they're doing it in around the minute 30s mark so it's there's gonna be plenty of racing so there's no need to rush anything around here So what my goal is for these first couple of laps is the same sort of thing that I mentioned in the XL video. So I'm just going to follow, learn where I'm quicker, where they're quicker than me, where I can make some moves and not do anything silly. So if we just stick behind it for a couple of laps, just look, you know, is he going to go a bit wide here? Is he, as he does, run a little bit wide, but he brings it back. But got to see where my strengths are, where their strengths are and where my weaknesses and their weaknesses are. So it's all well and good if you can get to the lead, but if you're on the lead and you don't know where they're quicker than you, you might not know where to block or where they're going to try and move. So. Right now, I'm just ironing them up. We've got Cooper dashing away, so there's no need for me to battle with Zach in front if we can pull, push ahead, catch back up to Cooper after we got a pretty good start on that first lap, so that's the plan. As I say that, I go for a really silly half-assed move there, and I probably shouldn't have done that. That was pretty dangerous. We almost actually collected there, so in my case, I probably would have preferred, looking back on it now, to just stick back and follow. There's no need to dive, but it didn't hurt us that much. Zach caught up to Cooper pretty quick and now we're on the back of Zach already. So in hindsight, I shouldn't have done that, but it, it could have been a lot worse than what, what it was. So I'm just going to focus ahead now and see if we can pass any of these boys. So we're coming towards the end of lap two now and we can see we're well and truly on the back of Cooper and we're right on the back of Zach. So now it's all about what I was saying earlier. We've got to look where I can make those moves because we want to get in the lead, see how we go in the lead. We don't want to be making a move on the last two laps. I need to realize that they've got a massive pace advantage when I'm in front. So we get a nice exit out of here and we're really close on the back of Zach. So we're just going to stick in his toe right to the end of the straight. And then what we'll try and do is quickly pop out. And unfortunately just up here, we pop out a bit too early, so not what we would have wanted to do. But we didn't get the move done, but as you see, he runs a bit wide there. And we're going to sneak past, and that's P2. So now, that little bit of battling there, as you can see, it's just give Cooper, a mass Cooper a massive advantage. So let's try to catch up to Cooper and see what we can do.
So we've caught up to the back of Cooper now, and we're going to do the same thing we do with Zach. I am off, see where we're quicker, see where he's quicker, see where our weaknesses are, and see where his are. So you see, he ran a little bit wide there, but that was just a bit of a mistake on his behalf. So really want to look for those focus points. And what I noticed throughout the race was, especially down into turn three, um, no, out into four, sorry, out of three, I was really strong into that quick right-hander and that left-hander up the hill. So that's where I'm, I'm going to try and focus and gain as much as I can. It's pretty hard to pass down there. Um, but if I can gain my time there, then we can try to pass somewhere else on the track. We got a big off there from Cooper. Unfortunately, we weren't close enough. Um, at the start of the straight, but we're going to catch up in the toe and make the move as we head into lap five. So, got got the move done, and now we're just going to see where he's going to pass me, if he's going to be able to pass me back. Um, this is where that, that whole looking for the weaknesses on your behalf is really good, because right now, I know, okay, he's quicker into five, potentially, so i got to look out. He might go for a move down to five, or through Corporate Hill and down into turn nine, he might go for a move in the hairpin. I, I don't know that. I wouldn't know that if I didn't look for where I was. I was a bit slower and he was a bit quicker than me. So now we've got plenty of laps to go. We're only halfway through the race, and we'll just see what's going to happen. See what shape. See how the race is going to shape up from here. So going down the straight, Cooper was right behind me and he waited and he's gonna go for a lunge down into turn two. So he was waiting down the straight, he didn't want to make the move because I could have under, under and overed him or could have stuck around the outside and stayed there. But he's got the move done now and we're just gonna follow him through. And as I said before, this weekend I felt really strong down into turn four, so just out of here. You see it come down, stick him behind him, just move over and bang down the inside into turn four. So that's where I felt really confident he was in all the road there going a bit off into the grass. but. We're back in the lead now, so he, he got back in front, but we're back in the lead, so we'll just see how it's, again, how it's going to shake up, what's going to happen. He'll get me back, and we'll, we'll try to work back from there. Coming out on the straight here, Cooper's really close, so I'm gonna move over to the left. Try block him as much as I can. But Cooper's, event, Cooper's gonna get past down that in, inside that little gap there, so I'm gonna move back over, take the best line possible. Cooper's gonna fire it in here. Get really sideways, actually, in mid-corner just here. Snaps, I snap a little bit, but I catch it. And there you go, Cooper's back up in the first, I'm back down to P2, so we've still got three laps to go. There's plenty of racing to go around this track. Sitting piece, sitting on the seventh lap here. Um, we're in a pretty good spot to hopefully take the win. So this is that whole thing I was just explaining. Cooper knew that he was weak there and I was stronger there, so he moved over straight away to block on that inside. So into turn four, he's doing the same thing as I was. He was looking 
at the drivers he was around to see where they were stronger than him and where he was weaker compared to them and he just done the perfect perfect move there and just move over and not let me through so fair play but we'll try getting somewhere else now that he knows that 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 could be a spot that I could attack For the last couple of the laps of this race, Cooper definitely had some pace and for me to get past him was actually pretty tricky so I could stay with him but waiting for that move it was all about waiting for him to make a mistake and again moves over to the inside there to block because he knows that I could make a move down there. But final lap, you're winning, we, at this point we were, I was just ahead in the championship so he wants any, any points he can get over me even if it's the, the smallest of margins so he's gone defensive everywhere he can just to keep me at bay for this last lap. But 
as you're about to see, sometimes it's not best to try and defend everywhere because you can make some, some mistakes. Cooper's going to move back over to the inside really quick because he sees I get a bit close there, so he moves over again. He wants to give me, he wants to give himself every single chance he can to win. What we're going to do, coming into the last corner, we've got Zach behind us, so we move a bit block. Cooper's going to go really deep, lock up, quick, throw the car back to the left, under and over, and pass now in P1. And all we've got is a little straight, so because he was really wide, he got a really good switch back, so he had a really good toe and was getting a really good run on me. So I move over, but then I spot ahead, I got the Ken car, so I jump in its toe, and the difference that made, you can't see, but in the mirrors, I went from he was going to pass me to there was no way it was passing me, so... Quick thinking there, got me the win. Um, a bit of luck on my behalf, but I was also patient and waited. And, you know, blocking is always good, but sometimes it, the, the excessive blocking can end up and stuff like that can happen to you. Massive thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the first Formula Ford race review I've done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one compared to the Legend Car and XL, something a bit different again. So. If you guys want to see some other ones, let me know. Put it in the comments, send me a message and whatnot. Whatever you guys want me to do, I'm happy to do. And hopefully we get back to real racing so I can do some proper ones soon. Cheers.